Hello everybody, welcome back to New Tales from the Borderlands. We are here today with another gameplay, and last episode we got to show our claim of the, with the damage in our frozen yoga shop. This episode we're going to see the aftermath of the claim and see if this lady is going to give us, even give us a time of day. So without further ado, let's get right back into the action. I did also, while I was dicking around here, um, notice that there was one thing I can, one more thing I can interact with, and that is I can punch, I can use the program machine. I, did, I don't, don't think I punched it last episode, but... Maybe I can give this lady a, a Froger. It's on the house. This is dairy free. Totally. What's a dairy free? <laughs> Guess she wasn't taking that. Only dairy free for her. Okay, so she did want that. That's doing a one more last sweep to see if there's anything else I can look at. All right, that's just that. Okay, show Reba the damage. I'm pretty sure we've got it all. All right, let's go ahead and chit chat with Reba. Anything else you want to show me? Uh, no. No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. <laughs> Let's see that back room. I have no back room. There's no damage. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? Oh my god. Can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. <laughs> my goodness. This is crazy. This lady. I said, open the door. Um, wait a minute. I'm almost saying we should just let her go. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first. But now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stop. Screw it. Let go. This is gonna be awkward. That's gonna be funny. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. you he was talk. trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz? Your insurance claim has been approved. Really? I thought you'd be, I, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. It almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. <laughs> nah. <laughs> this, oh gosh. Nice though, we got the claim approved. Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. <laughs> nice. I want to watch next time. Uh, will do. Wants to watch. Wow. <laughs> well, there we go. Make sure you guys are enjoying the series. By the way, hit that like button, comment with you are not, and subscribe so you don't miss any sweet content. This series has been so sick, and I'm absolutely loving the story and the characters in it. And I hope you guys are as well. Looks like there's the invasion going on by TDR. TDR, God. Whatever else. <laughs> oh crap. This is going to be boiling, man. Luckily we have a group of badasses near us. We got some cool music. Oh, Paco is out of here, man. He took his rack or his uh not racks, but his uh whatever those things are called. I can't remember what they're called. Ratchets? Citizens of Meridian City! This area is now under TDO jurisdiction. We are implementing a curfew which begins five minutes ago. Leave the streets immediately, or we will open fire. Son of a bitch! Wow, could you imagine? Now, if anyone sticks around, I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Richard! <laughs> yeah, get out of here, Richard. What do we do? Uh, Take fight off. back. We must approach this with level heads. 
hide. Maybe Everybody we can ambush him. Hide! Oh. <laughs> nice, Octavia. Right. I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. <laughs> that was an amazing reaction from Octavia. Octavia, what happened to fighting them off? You turned yellow belly, or what? Discretion is the better part of valor, Radon. Take cover, you idiot! Nah, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, Radon's just going for it. He doesn't even care. Stop this, you invented crop stains! <laughs> oh, dang. And they didn't see it. And he just nudged what? it over to his buddies. Wow. Instead of kicking it out of the way. Shoot to kill! Uh-oh. Now they know we're here. Right E. Or left E. My bad. I don't know my directions. <laughs> Sorry, man. You got you gotta right what are you on. doing? You're being crazy. <laughs> I guess we have to fight. Well thanks to you now we have no choice but to fight. Thanks a lot, buddy! Hey! You're welcome! Hey, he wanted it. Take down that TDO commander! Look at his headband. He's, it's, it's a danger. Time to phone a friend for backup. Ooh, phone a friend. All right, uh, let's do da Daniela. Danielle, I need a favor. Must be Wednesday. Got a TDR commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? Oh, down to the ground he goes. <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we, what if I really need one? I'm taking the train wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna. <laughs> he doesn't the wanna, Daniel. has fallen. I fight for what did this. Brock, the gun is stuck in some trash. <laughs> that regrettably mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. All right, let's grab it. Hold E. Grab that weapon, Brock. State of the art annoying gun technology. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Why would you do that? So far, this weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like you're poor! Oh yeah? Well... Your paws are filthy! Take that, you stupid piece of cheap ass DDR tech! She. She. Oh, buddy boy! I am a state of the art sentient weapon designed to enhance the efficacy of invasions and intimidation with exponential efficiency! You grubby little amateur! Ugh. Now stop sweating so much on my grip! Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. All right, let's grab that thing, see if what we can do with that. I wonder what Louie has in mind. It's not stealing if he's already dead. It's looting. Truly a model of human decency. What? I'm sure you loot, right? No, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> maybe he just kills no looting. It'd be surprising, honestly, if he did. Oh, dang. Okay, shooting that boy. Bam! I'm sorry, my corporate brother! Let's move! You're not sorry. Don't be sorry, gun. It's not you doing it. I like how Louie's not giving us any covering fire. Doesn't even care. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Alright, let's target that boy. Hit the deck, soldier. No, get him! Ooh! He hit the deck, though, eventually, after a bullet went through him. 
Okay, we're getting through these boys. I really don't know why Louie's not helping us. I mean, I guess he's not obligated to. <laughs> the trash talking gun. Oh, you're a trusty sidearm, Mister Brock. Yeah, Brock. And you're so lucky you get to manhandle my handle. Okay, less talking, more shooting. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. He's over here. He's over here. The insurgent's over here. Nothing personal, but I just think I like you better when you're a cop. Oh my that gosh. That seems extremely personal. Alright, enough of this! I mean, okay, I guess it wasn't helping us that I much. Think we should be safe here. I have asked or not. We are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Or risk escalating the situation. Evacuate pants. I love the law. And we at TDR thank you for your cooperation. I will now de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait! At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. But my friends all call me. <laughs> you just got L zero U one three. I did forget that he needed to know the names. He needs to know the names Hubert before he killed. Hot dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! Wow, that is lucky. That is so lucky. It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk ringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill cop. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get that uh, vibe from Fran, but maybe she has a different side to her? I know she likes Octavio. And Louis, just no discretion, no sneaking for him. Back to Anu. Nice. I was curious about this situation. Last we checked, she was there, yes. <laughs> Staple face and her knife. You're Sometimes awake. it's hard to read those. You looked like an angel! A tragedy! Yeah. With the way today has gone so far, this seems about right. Just get it over with already! Okay. Uh, this is Friends, really. Uh, I always knew the so-called psychos of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. Some fellows over there too. They're probably not going to like Anu as much as this one uh, does. Uh, why are we going over there? Oh God. So pleased to meet you. What? I'm. Mistake. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, space bar. Don't miss any prompts. We gotta get away from these noobs. Luckily, we have a friend who is a psycho. I'll spin the teeth, I swear. Tell them 
wasp in the teeth. Whatever they want. I didn't mean to offend. Let's tell them we're running! Uh-oh. What do we do? We gotta get going. Oh. Jeez. Get out of here. And now we're being chased by psychos, man. And it is psycho. It's not a gun. Weapon. If you say so. What? No. Never mind. Just toss it here. Toss that here. Got I can get these fellas off of our case. It's a nice coordinated. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it, man. You all seem super stressed. I think you could use a vacation. Siren? Scientist. Again! Again! <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's send all these boys on vacation. Pretty girl, pretty kill. I'm not a killer, I'm just sending them on a little trip. Pretty kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's malfunctioning. Oh, come on, man. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, no, not the psycho. Get off me, man. Uh oh, okay, okay. Q down Q. Get those combos. Ooh. Dang, Anu. Murder. Murder. She did a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> it surprised me, but you know she did it. Good the job, Anya, Anu. Prelude of viscera and I'll just scream Christ internally. <laughs> that was deafening. I do apologize for everybody that's using headphones. That was a deafening screed, and I, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so much that she fainted. Lady! Lady! <laughs> Anu. <laughs> My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! Uh-oh. She's gonna go. <laughs> she's gonna... <laughs> she's gonna puke. <laughs> In what way? Oh, no, no, she's not. Killing is it heroic. Sure, if you say so, I'm a failure. In what way? <laughs> sure. Sure. I guess I'm a hero, so long as your definition of a hero includes the wanted slaughter of other humans. It does! <laughs> staple face. No! To staple face, you are hero girl. Who's staple face? Isn't it clear? Oh, right. Of course. Staple faces death day. Death day. Punishment for bad thoughts. Thought about becoming not psycho. Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day. Ah, oh, got it. I think. But Anu helped. No more death day. I want to know who the voice actress that did did the voice for Stapleface. <laughs> Maybe there's something we can give her as a gift. I, um, a rock? Oh, come on. I have this uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. Thank you with my body! <laughs> so nice! 
Everybody should think like oh. that. Everybody. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, staple face, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Got our gun back. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! <laughs> oh my goodness. What an interesting duo those two are, right? <laughs> I do hope we run back into Stapleface. She is flipping awesome. I enjoy her. <laughs> All right, and we will find out more about Stapleface and the Octavio and Fran's story next episode. Thanks for watching, buddy. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favorite, and subscribe. This was New Tales from the Borderlands, and next episode we're gonna look like find out more about Fran, maybe. But until then, we will we will find out next time. And until then, I will see you guys then. Bye bye.